This week, I had the opportunity to learn how to skeleton. Now, I'm sure many of you don't really know what skeleton is, so here's a little clip of it. It's basically the cooler version of the loot, going down head first instead of feet first. In the Olympics, they can reach up to speeds of 80 miles per hour. So this week I went to Lake Placid, which is about two hours north, and here we were able to go down half of what the Olympic people do. But you can still reach up the speeds of 30 or 40 miles per hour. So there's gonna be a little vlog of me doing it. Unfortunately, they didn't give instructions on how to do it appropriately. They kind of just said, uh, relax and let the sled do the talking. However, you know me, so I'm gonna say what I kind of worked on. Okay, gang, we're uh, heading out to Lake Placid to learn how to do the skeleton. Uh, unfortunately, we're only gonna get one run in, but it's gonna be a good learning experience. Um, I've always loved it, watching it in uh, the Olympics and stuff. So I'm excited to see what happens and uh, hopefully I'll get some beautiful shots of Lake Placid. So here we go, guys. Here at the facility, about to rip the bobsled. Let's go, baby. All right, so we got our tickets. Uh, just getting fitted for something, probably helmets, and uh, about to set it off. Looks pretty sick. So here's a little look at the cross country course. And right there is where they do the shooting for the biathlon. Here's some footage of people going before me. I'm not able to actually get the footage of me because we're the last people to go. However, you can see you kind of pick up some speed and everyone always hit into this wall up here. Boom, there you go. As you got to this part, you're going so fast, it was really hard to stop. I blew past these guys. So now here's me getting ready to go and you just go up in a black SUV, it's pretty sick. And then that's me laying down and this is gonna be the push off. I mean, you can just see I'm locked in, I'm arrow. After watching some clips, I realized some things. When people started going faster, their feet started spreading out and their head was up the entire time. Now for aerodynamics sake, you would wanna keep your feet down together and your head as low as possible while still looking up. So I knew I wanted to focus on this. And because it's a winter Olympic sport, there had to be something else. So what I assumed is you would really need to activate your core. Similar to skiing, which you don't really think about core too much, but it's one of the most important things. So during the entire run, I made sure to tense up, keep my head down and feet together. My mom said I was around 40 seconds, which everyone else is getting 42 or 43 seconds. So I'm gonna say I got the best time of the day. Okay guys, just finished up. Uh, definitely set the course record. I was flying out there, but uh, it was a great time. I'll show you guys around a little bit. So we start like way, way, way up there. And then we come down around here, I'm pretty sure. And then this is right towards the end. And you start coming up this uphill to slow down. Really cool. How'd you like it, mom? It was good. Yeah, it's a little yeah, scary, okay. but it was good. Yeah. But all right, so we got a little bobsled run. We got the coaster or whatever that you can like go down on a cart. Um, yeah, you do it in the summer or something. There's the facility also. And then this is kind of where we were over here. And now we're just heading back from a very short day of Lake Placid. We literally did the one run and that was it. Thank you guys for watching. I had a great time doing this and really appreciate the opportunity. I like doing outdoor stuff and doing this type of thing really makes me happy. So hopefully down the line, I can keep doing more of these. Thank you guys again for watching. Like and subscribe it means a lot. Take care guys.